So now she's primed and uh, I'm gonna start laying down the base color of this sci-fi sci ship and I'm using uh, Mr. Surface 1000 as a primer, top-notch product, could never go wrong with this one. I really recommend that primer, it's a bit smelly but uh, I have never got any pain to get loose when I'm weathering my project so this is really top notch. So base color will be uh, white, off white I guess uh, and then we're gonna start weathering this beast and that's gonna be really really exciting. So next step to put the base color on. So the spaceship is covered in salt, I don't know if you can see it, and now I'm gonna spray three different grey shades on the top of the fuselage to get some more realistic hull, and I'm gonna use XF55, Tamiya Deck 10, and uh, XF83, it's the C gray and finally I'm gonna put on XF20 that's a medium gray on the fuselage and uh, once I have sprayed it I will do some touch up and remove all the salt in my shower so let's paint it
so all the decals are applied to the model. Uh, I must say that the quality of the decals were really really bad. They were really really fragile and broke up as soon as you tried to bend them over edges like this part over here. So I had to paint some of the markings but it was quite easy because they are just red and uh, now it's just a clear coat on the ship so it's now time to start to weathering it. Now it will, I would think it will look awesome when uh, it's weathered with washes and things like that. So next up is to start weathering this puppy. So the wash is done on this nice spaceship. Uh, <clears throat> the panel lines were really nice to fill up with the wash, so you can really see the details now. We got a big contrast on this vehicle. So now it's time to let it dry for maybe 24 hours, and then I will come back and put a clear coat on 